Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from Nawal. Now, Nawal is a, uh, well, they're based in California, but all their pens are made in China and all, apparently all made in house, including the nibs. Um, there has been a little bit of controversy about the brand recently, but I got hold of this pen. I purchased it myself. I think it's a very cool looking pen uh, and I wanted to uh, review it for you. So this is the Narwhal uh, Nautilus. And this is the uh, Maylandia Blue. So this is how it comes packaged. Very Apple-esque white packaging, which I uh, enjoy the simplicity of and nice little logo on the top there, I will say that. The second box is inside and says Narwhal Nautilus. And then we open that up and it's very simply in a piece of foam in there. And that's it, that's what you get. No ink, nothing of course, because this is a piston filling pen. It is wrapped in a little plastic sleeve, you know, for protection, but this is the pen. So as I said, this is the Maylandia Blue. You can see it's this uh, European ebonite uh, material. It's very nice, uh, rhodium uh, trimmed, you know, furniture. So I'm gonna talk about the pen. We'll do a writing sample and uh, talk about some pros and cons. Okay, so starting at the top of the pen, simple like dome top there with a the little chrome inlay. The cap runs down, it's got a clip, which is uh, quite flexible. It's, it's not super stiff um, and gives you a good bit of a distance, you know, between, you know, between the clip and the pen uh, for your pen cases. There's a very decorative uh, silver band here or chrome colored band around the edge of the cap. The cap is a screw cap and is unscrews in two and a quarter turns. Um, unique feature of this pen are these uh, porthole shaped uh, uh, ink windows. Um, and there's three of those on the pen and they do not line up perfectly. So you can sort of see through, but if you hold the pen directly on, you sort of, yeah, you're missing looking directly through. The barrel is cylindrical down to a silver cap and then you get the piston turning knob as so this is a piston filling pen. I will not turn it. It is filled with ink. It would go everywhere. Uh, and then just a plain uh, domed end there. When you unscrew the pen, you reveal this very simple but effective section. Little step down off the barrel, which has got a bit of a ridge on it. Some threads that are smooth enough. And as I said, a number six size nib um, made in-house apparently by Narwhal. Uh, this is a medium. It comes in fine, medium, broad, double broad, and a stub nib, uh, but it is a number six. So, but in theory, you should be able to change this out with other nibs, and there is a simple plastic feed there. Said it's piston filler, uh, and the ink capacity is about one and a half mils. So it's a decent amount of ink. Um, you can see it moving around in the ink window if you hold it the right way. Um, it's a nice pen. It's sort of solid. It's got a nice feeling because it is ebonite. Um, the pen doesn't post, I should say that, like, it just doesn't post, um, and for some that'll be an issue, it's okay for me, um, I don't mind it. So as I said, this is a brand that, that uh, the brand was launched in 2019, um, at a, a, at a pen show, and they're a company that's based in California, so the people that run it are based in California, but the pens are all made in China, and they say everything is made in-house, um, including the piston mechanism and the nib. So interesting, and the, I found that this pen and the other Narwhal pen I have reviewed um, both had a similar kind of feel to the nib. Um, not the not the best, but okay, okay. But you know, like there's a bit of feedback, it's, and it's not always entirely pleasant. Time for a size comparison here with the Lamy Safari. You can see it's a bigger pen. It's generally bigger, you know, longer, and it's got more girth to it. Uncapped, they actually come in at around a similar length. Uh, I think that the, the extra length on the nib, being a number six size nib on the Nautilus, makes it a nice size. Smaller section, but it's slightly, it's got a good girth to it. Now, as I said, the Narwhal does not post, so that gives the Lamy Safari the advantage there if you are someone who wants to post their pens. The Narwhal Nautilus comes in at 150 millimeters, so it's a good length pen. It will fit in most standard pen cases, but just you know, one to be aware of. Uh, uncapped, it's 133 millimeters, so we actually lose quite a lot of length of the pen in the capping there. Um, and as I said, the pen does not post, so that is its writing length, which is okay. It's a good length. Um, I think you'd have to have pretty big hands to not be able to write with this pen. The grip section is about 10 millimeters, so it's an okay size. The weight of the pen is 36 grams. 13 of that is in the cap, so what you're writing with is about 23 grams, which is a nice size. It's a nice weight and feel in the hand. The balance is fairly good, but there is a bit of mechanism up here in the back for the piston, and as it's a light material, being ebonite, uh, 
there is a bit of weight back there, but because it doesn't post, it's not it's sitting on the back of your hand, you, it feels okay to write with. So let's do a writing sample now with the novel, hard start. Nautilus. This is the Maylandia. Blue. With a number six in-house, house-made, uh, medium nib. The ink in this is good old favorite. Waterman. Serenity Blue. When I first got this pen, I had it inked with Dye Mine um, uh, Oxford Blue, and all the same writing things happened. It's been cleaned, it's been flushed, uh, and we're still getting a few of these little moments there. As you can see, like a little hard start there and there, and there was one when we first started writing, and the cap hadn't been off too long. Even there, we see, like, in the circle, it has these little skippy moments. So once again, a few little skips. It's actually a little bit frustrating. Um, if they truly have made this pen and nib and the, the, I mean the feed and the nib and everything in-house, you kind of wonder whether sometimes that may not be for the best. Let's do some quick writing. So skips again as to be expected. The thing is, what's interesting is that when it's writing, it's quite smooth and it's laying down a fairly decent amount of ink. Like it's not a wet writer. Reverse writing, it's actually relatively smooth uh, and fine and sort of slightly dry. It's a stiff nib, it lays down a bit more ink when you do that, like quite a bit more ink, but you're not getting line variation necessarily. Under its own weight, it's kind of inconsistent. Like, it will write sometimes, it won't write other times. It's an interesting one. As I said, if you're making everything in-house, are you making it any better than anyone else does? Just a general question to put out there. So what are the pros and cons? Well, cons, inconsistent writing. It goes from dry to wet to scratch. Well, not scratchy per se, it's fairly smooth, but like skippy. Um, the other issue with, Nautil with Narwhal, of course, is uh, the controversy that has been going on about the piston filling mechanism and the, uh, you know, the plagiarism on another brand's design. I'm not going to go into that. You can find lots of things about that online. Just something to be aware of. You know, they, it's not that they're hiding anything or it's just that they're not always being completely upfront. Let's talk about the price. Um, so this pen retails in the US for about $150. I've seen it retailing for around the 200 Australian dollar mark or the 90 to 95 pound mark. So not a super cheap pen. There are brands that do similar pens at lower price points. And to be frank, with better nibs. Uh, you know, if that's flushed, that's been taken care of all, you know, it's, I've looked at it under a loop. It writes like that. That's how this pen writes. Um, there are lots of pros, don't get me wrong. I really like the material. I like ebonite. I like this particular uh, ebonite with these beautiful blue ripples all through it. Um, and the finish and the polish on it is really beautiful. And matching it with the, you know, the rhodium silver trim is great. The center band is, a little, is quite a lot, but that's you know, their design. I think it's got a nice size and weight. Um, at the 133 millimeter mark and 23 grams, it's a good size in the hand. It's nice. It's got a nice size section. It's got an excellent ink, uh, excellent ink capacity at 1.5 mils. Um, it's doing a lot of things right. And also, I quite like just the general you know, aesthetic of it. It's got it going for this submarine kind of feel. Uh, and I appreciate that. I like the look of it. I like the design. My biggest concern with this pen, as you have seen and heard, is the fact that writing with it, it just doesn't necessarily write well. When it's writing well, it's very nice. It's just inconsistent. And for 150 US dollars, I think, you know, they could look at using a different brand of nib and feed and all of that kind of thing. Uh, and hopefully, or invest some time and effort in their own uh, nibs and feeds and uh, really bring them up to scratch.
So this was the Narwhal Nautilus. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. Or you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me. Or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there is a way you would like to support this channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.